Okay, we're now moving on to the final part of the project where we have to export the video. And to do so, we go to Premiere Pro, File, Export, Media. And the export window comes up. There is a timeline down the bottom with a scrubber for the playhead. And you can choose in and out points. You don't have to export all of your assets. You can choose the beginning and the end. The next thing to do is to choose the format. And we want H264. We could also say match the settings. We set it up for 1980 by 10, uh, 1925 by 1080. Um, but we're going to use H264. And that's the codec that we'll use. Uh, provides good compression for a wide variety of consumption sources. The other thing is um, we want to make sure that it's outputting. So as we roll over it, we can see that it's going to output to the desktop right now. And if we want that to output somewhere else, we'd have to click on there and choose a very different output source for ourselves. And I could choose it. I'm just going to use the desktop for now. Um, and I'll just keep it the way that it is. And you have a choice to export video and audio. We don't have any audio right now, but we can deselect that for now if we wish. And we can either queue it, in which case it sends it over to Adobe Media Encoding for batch processing, or we can export it directly. And that's what we're going to do. So click Export. It starts the encoding process. And that's just writing the data in a format that can be understood by a player, whether that's a web browser video player or that's a player on your video screen for your television or your computer. Okay, it's now finished. It says the video was exported successfully, so let's just preview it to make sure. And take a look at our movie now. I hit play. There you have it. So start to finish, you can see that there's a, an increase in intensity and rhythm. And then it slows back down again. And then it drops in a title card at the end. And that's it.